Hey everybody, Grand Rising, good afternoon and good evening. Whatever time you click on, this video is the right time for you and I thank you in advance for your viewership. So, I know by now all of you have either heard of or seen the Cat Williams interview with... Um, I believe the football player's name is Shannon Sharp. I know his first name is Shannon for sure. Um, the interview was through Club Shay Shay. That, that's the name of the show on YouTube. And this interview has already pretty much made history and viewership. It was over 11 million views in less than 24 hours and i want to say around 15 million views before the turn of the second day was even out so i want to say they they broke the record for the second high the second highest viewed interview and like YouTube social media history for this show in particular and just in general. So this interview put up huge numbers and it brought a lot of controversy. A lot of people were in their feelings and from what I saw for the most part, um, regular everyday people were with Kat. I texted a friend of mine earlier today and he literally texted me back, you know, as a, as a statement, he said, if I could be Cat Williams honest and I buckled over laughing because it's like, man, Cat Williams Honest is a whole new bar nowadays. After this interview, people <laughs> have a whole new idea of what transparency is. And for Cat Williams, this isn't new. He's been transparent from the very beginning, even when it was detrimental to himself. So I decided to do this reading because I had already tapped into this energy on my live, but I wanted to give it more attention and go more in depth. So I would like to, without any further ado, tap into the energy around Cat Williams in general not just this interview like there's there's a lot of people that are afraid for his safety for things that he said in this interview and i'm really not one of them because it's like cat has been very vocal so if there was ever a time that you know so-called powers that be felt a type of way about cat it was years ago now it's more so to be expected that this is who he is so let's tap in and let's see the energy around cat williams now that he's done this interview with club shay shay Okay, so we've got the artist. The artist is definitely a, a creative, okay? Three of Cups. So Three of Cups is a card of collaboration and celebration. And this is what, for him, the energy that I'm picking up around this interview, this is what this meant for him. This was a celebratory moment. Um, 
he came into collaboration with Shannon, but for him, this was something that he didn't just look at as an interview. He looked at it as, you know, a moment where they both came together, more so in celebration and collaboration than for an interview. Now here's the, collabor uh, the collaborative energy once again, the three of pentacles. So, page of swords, ace of pentacles. So he knew that, you know, certain elements, certain people, the ones that he was really speaking to would be watching the the gatekeepers the ones that control the influx and the flow of money he knew they were watching page of swords and the ace of pentacles so you know um i had seen where people were questioning his sanity or his sobriety and i thought that was absolutely hilarious that they would question his sobriety when they're sitting there drinking the whole entire two and a half hour interview as if he didn't know what he was saying or he wasn't in his right mind or he may have been altered to say certain things. The alcohol wasn't the factor. He was charged up from another place, bottom of the deck justice he felt like it was about time it's a long time coming we need balance knight of cups to the eight of pentacles so he was he was all for coming together to work with shannon this was a, a almost like i guess you could say like a brotherly effort And because I get that energy that this was like a brotherly effort, he gave him exclusives and said things with him that he possibly may not say in any other interviews, but because he respects Shannon, he gave Shannon the, the meat off the bones. And this was his way of setting the record straight and getting justice. This falls right under the artist. The artist is getting justice. So here it is. We've got the Six of Cups. We're looking at, you know, third party energies that, you know, had either came back from the past or people who he had dealt with in the past because Six of Cups represents, you know, um, past energy, energy coming back from the past, revisiting issues or situations from the past. And this is what he did in this interview. He revisited um, old issues, things that he had been through. Three of Pentacles. This was the collaboration that they came together for him to come forward and speak. Knight of Swords. Queen of Pentacles, okay? So Queen of Pentacles, established woman, a wife, or possibly um, someone who is like an anchor. And there's someone in particular, someone in general, that he was speaking to, and this person knows exactly who they are. He knew they were watching. There were certain things in that interview, as candid as it is, as candid as it was, that were still veiled but clearly understood to those who needed to understand. Ace of Pentacles falls over the Five of Wands. So, you know, it's like... He, he's making sure that it's known that he 
you know, fought from the ground up. He pulled himself up by his bootstraps to get everything that he has. And that he comes in truth and integrity. Ace of Swords. So this is like forward movement and expansion. And this is going to affect his work in a good way because now people are going to want to see him more now than ever. Like his shows already sell out like crazy, but he's going to literally quadruple his work because people now want to see him tell the truth that no one is able to tell the truth that everyone is afraid to say. And this is why Cat will never be broke by industry standards because he is a pillar of truth. And where there's the truth, there is the light and there is the way. So you see how this sword is illuminated. He brings justice through illuminating certain situations by telling the truth. Seven of Swords. So this is, you know, going back to that Six of Cups and Three of Cups energy. The people that he dealt with from the past, the three people who collaborated against him. And the energy that I get is that it's not that there weren't more, but there were three major people in particular who did very underhanded, sneaky things in the past. And these were the things that he was revisiting in his interviews. Well, in this interview, rather. Seven of Cups. So... If you watch me long enough, you know the cups are not just about, the seven of cups is not just about considering your options, but this is a card of libation, okay? Consumption. So while they were collaborating, you know, to do this interview and he came forward to speak, yes, they had many cups of libation. But even with that, it felt like, you know, um, two family members sitting up shooting the breeze. It didn't feel like someone drunk and inebriated that, you know, was speaking from a, a toxic place. This was somebody who was in their right mind that knew what they were saying. Nine of Pentacles falls under this Page of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, there is someone in particular beyond the three people that he spoke on. And this person knows exactly who they are. And he knew that this person was watching and this person would get the message. knight of pentacles so you know people have tried to you know slow him down slow down his income keep him from getting to higher levels but he continued to come forward and receive offers and work and he pushed through regardless the sun, him telling the truth and telling his stories illuminated a lot of things, but also made it to where things are going to be better for him in the future. The magician and the seven of pentacles. So, you know, this man is a, ma a master manifester. He's able to sow seeds and grow them into larger things. And those things don't just feed him, 
they feed and finance many other people that he doesn't even speak about. So it, it's a long line of people that he possibly has helped that he has never spoke on and may never ever speak on. Five of Swords. So, you know, Five of Swords is like conflict and communication. But, you know, it wasn't that he had conflict and communication. It was that there was a lot of conflict over his communication. A lot of people were angry. They were upset. They felt some type of way about him choosing to speak about his experiences. And then here it is. I keep telling y'all, the devil, toxic energy, okay? He was speaking to, you know, um, he was speaking to someone in particular, like I said, someone who he knew has been watching him, someone who he knows has, you know, been trying to keep him from obtaining a certain amount of peace, let alone success. Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. And this falls under this Ace of Pentacles, Five of Wands, and Knight of Pentacles. You know, um, what that shows me is that he's had a lot of people who tried to hinder him financially and he feels some type of way about it he's actually hurt that people would try to affect his income and try to keep him from supporting his family in the best way that he knows how through comedy ten of wands and the nine of swords so this is like, you know, having the weight of the world on your back and just having deep anxiety because, you know, he's had to keep fighting and pushing through and enduring and fighting and pushing through and enduring. And he's carried a lot of heavy loads throughout the years. Um, a lot of burdens that, once again, just like with the blessings that he's given to people, that we may never know about. He has burdens that he still has never spoken about and possibly may never speak about. Uh oh. King of Pentacles. So, King of Pentacles falling under the sun, like I said, this is going to work out for him in a great way because it's going to elevate him because people really already, you know were buying his tickets you know as quick as they could because he sells out fast every show um, here where I'm at in Detroit a Cat Williams show could sell out literally in 15 minutes and we're talking about a full arena and then he'll put up the second show and the second show will sell out in 15 to 30 minutes it happens last cat williams show i went to here he said the show sold out so fast he was confused he had to go back and look because he could not believe that he had already sold out so this is where not only is he going to sell out but he's going to have to pace himself because he's going to have people wanting third and fourth shows in all of the major cities he goes to in the small towns they're going to be like, hey, what about us? We want you here too. Let's see, let me try that again. As she came right back out. So Queen of Wands. Uh, Queen of Wands under the Seven of Pentacles. So Queen of Wands represents high visibility and attractiveness. 
and this is also um, him possibly in the future and he's already done this but him possibly in the future doing even more for female comedians to help them have high visibility so that they can get you know bigger contracts and they can do more work now ace of cups and the five of pentacles this is you know him giving to people out of the love so that they don't have to be starving artists he may be small in stature but he's huge in character the reader so when the reader comes out the reader is someone who's very very perceptive and he knew that this was going to spark controversy you know hey falling under five of swords absolutely a bunch of people were going to you know come out and argue certain points Ooh, excuse me y'all it's late my apologies you know he knew this was going to spark controversy but at the same token it was like this was his gift to Shannon because he respects Shannon that much that he says, hey, you know, I look at you as good people. I look at you like family. So I'm going to give you these pearls of wisdom that could possibly seem um, like you have a prophet sitting here on the couch because I'm gonna speak on things that people want to know about, people never knew they needed to know, and things that people are gonna look back on down the line and say, oh wow, now I understand. Even though Kat is always you know, very open and very candid, he's never done an interview like this before. So these cards are completely stuck together. So we've got the three of wands, which is opportunities coming in, blessings coming, walking away from relationships, five of pentacles. So this is, you know, cat taking hits that cost him. He walked away from several major opportunities because three of wands is like your ships coming in, your blessings coming in. But he walked away from, okay, these karmic offers because the devil is always karmic. It's always negative. So anything that he felt was going to sacrifice his integrity, he gladly walked away from, even if it was to his own detriment with the five of pentacles. That says a lot to his character. Because anybody can say, well, I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that. And I don't want to be a part of X, Y, and Z. But when somebody puts 50 to $100 million in front of you, are you still able and willing to say no? This is saying that he's done it repeatedly. But every time he's done it and he faced poverty, he ends up back over here with the Ace of Pentacles. He had to fight hard for it. He had to get out here and grind harder than most, but he still got it. I'm channeling in my head, Kevin Gates, get it out the mud. Uh, tower falls at the bottom of the deck for, well, falls on the table rather under wounded warrior nine of wands so he's definitely faced a lot of towers and he's gonna have to be very careful in the future about towers to come because people feel some type of way six of swords king of cups okay I had to just make sure no, is something stuck? Because these cards have been sticking together. There we go. 
So, yeah, you got the Six of Swords, which is leaving behind toxic environments, toxic situations, moving on to calmer, more peaceful opportunities and things. King of Cups is he feels very deeply about things, but he usually doesn't wear his feelings and emotions on his sleeve. He doesn't say to the world what's really ailing him, what's bothering him. Page of Wands. This is, you know, pushing forward onto new opportunities. And this is how he does. No matter how things hurt him, no matter how he has to keep taking things on the chin, he pushes forward. So, you know, through the anxiety, through everything, through the fire, he pushes forward. He, he doesn't mind the adversity in the long run because he's built to last but you know no nobody is superman everybody has a kryptonite and for him i believe and this is my opinion i believe the kryptonite is him holding things in so long what he did on that interview was decompressed from years and years and years of things that he had been going through. Hmm. So King of Swords, King of Pentacles. Like I said, people are going to want to make all types of ways to get to these shows. They're going to pay top dollar to come out and hear him tell the truth, which is going to make him even wealthier. Now, he's going to have to be careful of going back to jail because that's what they like to do to slow him down. Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. They love to, you know, put him in jail. He never stays in there, though. The Empress falling under the Queen of Wands. So it's like he's giving, you know, the energy of giving birth to a new movement, a movement of honesty, a movement of truth, a movement of transparency. And in this movement, it's holding people to task. Yeah, now here that Eight of Swords. I said he's going to have to be careful with the legal system because that's how they like to play with him. They like to lock him up. They want to shut him up, they lock him up. I don't know why they keep doing it because it don't work. It's like telling the child to go stand in the corner for talking too much and they go stand in that corner, but when they come out, they're going to say what they want to say. And this is who he is. They're not going to punk him in the silence. Four of Swords. Yeah, they tried to break his pockets. They tried to bring his career to a rest. They stalled him out. Yeah, they, they want to bring a, a rest to all of this really swiftly. And the sad thing is, the ones who will try to be responsible for moving him out the way or causing him any problems. They won't look like the people who are over the industry. They'll look like this. If you get my drift. It'll be people that look just like him. Bottom of the deck is the hangman. Four of pentacles. You know, even through towers, he stays stable. Generational wealth, at least four generations. And, you know, they hate it because it's, it's more so a tower to them that he's stubborn, that he won't be broken. You know, it's, it's like, you know, having an old Mustang, not the car, but the actual horse. 
that can't be tamed. They're going to run wild. They're going to do what they do. And this is him in spirit, in spirit and in truth. And see, they they were trying to cause hangmen, allegedly, to his opportunities and new opportunities that were coming to him. But it seems like every time they would do that and limit his opportunities, he would take the limited opportunities and turn them into abundance. So it still didn't work. Six of Wands. So it's like moving on, moving forward to victory. He's definitely going to have more specials. Possibly building a special from around this interview. I would not be surprised if his special does not come out of this interview and him going across America telling the Cat Williams honest truth. Just stopping in small town America, stopping in the hood and giving people the chance to speak on how they felt about him telling the truth and putting it into his special. I think it's a great idea. I doubt if he'll ever see this, but if he does, you should hit me up, give me like 2% credit somewhere, <laughs> AKA free tickets to your show when you come in town. The emperor, okay? So, Emperor is the father of the deck. And this is also the person who has their hand on controlling the ebb and flow and how things go. He now controls the pulse. He now is the jumper cable to come and wake up you know, what was becoming the monotony of comedy. Knight of Wands and the Lovers. So I want you to understand the Lovers doesn't just represent people who are sleeping together. This is also, you know, um, collaboration, Gemini. Um, you got the Knight of Wands. That's someone who's very fast and impetuous. But, you know, falling under the Eight of Swords, I think he should be very careful about who he deals with as far as relationship-wise or, you know, um, here for the short time, not the long time because I'm getting the energy of them trying to send him a honey pot to put him in a position to go to jail. Ten of swords at the bottom of the deck, the ultimate betrayal. Temperance, balance through a new beginning, page of cups, the hermit, two of swords. No matter what they do to this man, he still bounced back. Uh, I'm channeling, uh, what's his name? Channeling mystical. They, they keep bouncing me against the wall. Was that you ain't seen bouncing back. So no matter what they do to him, he, he just keeps bouncing back. They keep putting him against the wall, keep putting his back against the wall. And no matter what, he keeps bouncing back. The star and the ten of swords leads to heartbreak. And I told y'all, like, he feels very deeply. Um, things that people have done, you know what? 
don't even matter. It's on the table. Things that people have done to him throughout the years have hurt him immensely. They've cut into him very deeply, but he just carries it. He doesn't show how he feels. He just carries it. But this is showing me that there's some things behind the scenes that hurt from a whole different place. And this is this man is still human. So he has the right to feel hurt. He has the right to, you know, um, be able to categorize the pain that he feels and monetize his pain. And this is what this looks like when it's all said and done. He's going to monetize his pain, which is going to be his payback because he gets to get paid for telling the truth and exposing the very people who tried it in the first place. I mean, it sounds like a great deal to me. So this is the end of a cycle to heartbreak for him because now he gets to come out of this energy, he gets to speak his mind, and he's going to be paid quite handsomely for speaking his mind. The high priestess and the seven of wands. That's somebody working in secret against him. And when it seems like he's extra defensive or whatnot, he's literally fighting against people who tried to shadow ban him. Yeah, brought him heartbreak. He had to cut certain people off. There's people that he's speaking to directly that he knows who he's talking to, but you have to be very perceptive to catch you on. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Like I said, y'all, it's late. Seven of Wands, that's him standing up for what he feels is right, judgment. And he's coming as the right hand of God. And then he's laying down the law. This is the action that he's taking, King of Wands. See, there's so much love and abundance here for Cat, and this is an unrequited offer for the people that he's actually speaking to. See, they gave him a lot of unrequited offers until finally he's like, my cup runs over. But for them, here it is, cat is well loved and that's a regret because it's like well we tried everything to tear him down and he just don't want to stay down ten of cups he's taking action and doing what he needs to do because he's protecting his family so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this reading up this is my energetic pull around the energy with cat williams and his interview with shannon sharp on club shay shay and what's the energy to come out of this on the other end i see a lot of abundance coming in for cat but he's going to have to stay um, out of the way and steer clear of domestic disputes and stay out of these circles now that these people know that you know he's going to call them out for their snake um, activities Okay, so we've got occupation, concerns, so concerns about his occupation, I don't know who this privileged lady is and this unexpected income, but there, I want to say this lady more so represents a system like how you would call you know your your car her and things of that nature this represents 
a system in some type of way. Courtship also represents going into agreement with some type of system. Y'all, what I tell y'all? He's going to have to be very careful around whoever it is that he's dealing with because they could put him in a situation that could get him locked up. And this will affect his children. Message of concern falls under concern. And you got the high honors on the distant horizon so this is literally um him getting his flowers but he has to be careful about how he gets his flowers because usually when people give you your flowers and they don't like you it's because something has happened to you Adjudication and child, they, they, he's this whole court stuff. He has to be very careful because allegedly it looks like they're willing to lock him up once again to take a swipe at trying to get next to his children. I don't know why this is like a thing for certain, you know, certain people, but they know his children mean everything to him. And these people try their best to do what they consider as humbly. So, yeah. Finally wrapping his reading up. Sending many prayers to Cat Williams. And sending all type of loving, strong vibes to him to hold it together, push through and to have heightened spiritual awareness and discernment. And this is my energetic tap-in into Cat Williams and the energy around him. I think I'm going to name this one. Cat's having his way at Club Shay Shay. But everybody have a wonderful evening. Talk to y'all soon.